The Cabinet is moving full steam ahead with its plan to extend the bullet train system to Elam. Premier Su Chang said Monday that his team had chosen a route that circumvents the Fate Sui Reservoir watershed. He called on Elan County officials to provide the support needed to get the new high-speed rail line up and running without delay. Premier Su was in Elan to inspect progress on an elevated railway project. After he heard briefings on the project, Su discussed the latest in government plans to improve transport between Taipei and Elan. He said the cabinet has chosen a route for the new HSR line to Elan. This route will avoid the catchment area of the Feitui Reservoir, he said. We asked the experts to allow us to finalize this route soon. If we are to do it, we must do it very efficiently. We don't want any dilly-dallying. On the local level, we implore the county commissioner to provide support in traffic maintenance, land acquisition, and urban renewal planning. We ask the county government to deliver efficiency. Extending the HSR line to Elan will cost an estimated 176.4 billion NT. It's expected to shorten travel times between Nangang and Elan to just 17 minutes. During the inspection tour on Monday, Su also spoke about Blue Camp opposition to the government's U.S. pork policy. Opposition lawmakers have demanded a cabinet reshuffle over the decision to lift the ban on U.S. pork. If they are just going to invite me to the legislative UN and occupy the rostrum to prevent me from speaking, that's very unreasonable. Su said the opposition shouldn't compromise the right of the people to hear what he has to say. Also on Monday, he apologized for a recent decision to limit access to free flu shots. Because at the beginning, the order of delivery and the frequency of deliveries were not arranged properly. So the announcement that we made is causing temporary trouble for people in the 50 to 65 year old age group. This is certainly a fault in our methods, and I'm sorry for that. Sue publicly apologized for issues in the flu shot program. He also commented on a recent report from a Hong Kong based news outlet that says China has deployed its most advanced hypersonic missile, the Dongfeng 17, to its southeast coast. According to the report, the move is in preparation for an invasion of Taiwan. At such a time, China is spending tax dollars on weapons to threaten its neighbor. This does not contribute to regional peace and stability. We call on China to live up to its responsibility as a big country and take care of its people and maintain peace in the region. That's the real right thing to do. Su blasted Beijing for its military threats. He also shut down rumors that he was eyeing a presidential run in 2024. Zheng Wenchan is a talented politician. Our minister Ling Jialong is also a good, talented politician. Right now, I'm the premier. I am thankful to President Tsai Ing-wen for giving me this assignment. I will focus on being the premier. As for running in elections, it's not an itch I'm feeling now. There's no need to scratch it. Su deflected by lauding transport chief Lin Jialong. He said there was no need to ask about his plans for 2020 as there was plenty of younger talent in the DPP.